Why well, hello and welcome back to this week's Talk Business Tuesday episode 3 y'all. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own in loving memory charm bracelet. Y'all stay tuned. So items that you will need to design your in loving memory charm bracelet will be your snake charm bracelet. And here is one in gold. I have my photo pendant that I bought from Amazon. All my small accessories that I have already got placed out. Got these from Amazon as well. With the gummy bears. And also these diamond pendants. Got all of this on Amazon. Amazon. Also these towels, flower tassels. Amazon. So let me show you all how they came in the Amazon. You receive packages like this for your dangling charms. These are some spacer or filler beads. They look like this. They also come in silver and like a dusty like silver as well, which I'm almost out. Yeah. So yes. So I'm gonna show you all how to attach your slip rings to your charm. Since I have mostly prepared all of these off camera to save time. So here you'll see me taking out the flowers that I bought from Amazon. I'll include everything in the description box below. You'll see me grab my needle nose pliers. See it has that little hook at the top to clasp on the charms. Also, here are our fruit charms that I have. And I bought this clear tray from Michaels. So I'm gonna take a gold split ring. You can see that. Looks like two jump rings and one. And also I need one of my dangling, dangling beads. So I'm gonna take my split ring, grab my needle nose plier, and try to hook it close towards the end. Kind of prop that open just a tad bit. If you all can see that. And then I'll try to attach it. And I also I always have to grab an additional plier just to bring it on around town. Okay, so now you see that it's attached to the um, split ring. So now I'm about to attach it to the dangling part. So I need to prop back open my split ring just a little. Pop it open just a tad bit and attach it to this dangling charm and keep turning it around until I hear a click. And hold on. And everything is that's how you will create your dangling charm for your bracelet, okay? So let's put that to the side. Okay, so our picture for our charm, as you can see, I always go to Walgreens, 33 or 34 cents. And I also create the pictures on Bazaar app. This is just a picture of me that I said that I was gonna create my very own 
charm bracelet to wear out in public and these are the pictures that my client wanted but she stated she really wanted the picture on the bottom so this is exactly what she's going to get you all know to get that one inch hole puncher from michael's joann's amazon wherever you can find one i try to open it like Cole Marie taught me so that i can see my image making sure that i'm cutting out everything precisely and so i'm just going to get that as close as i can and pop it out so once i have that popped out you place your 25 millimeter cobalt dome on top just so you can get a glimpse of how it will look and then you'll glue Glue with your Maj Paj, Gorilla Glue, whatever glue that you have that works best for you. <laughs> Notice I said works best for you. And you will just glue it down. I use about three or four drops of glue. And then I place my dome on top. And let it do what it do, baby. Okay. So I let that sit there so the deck can dry. I normally let this dry overnight. So here on your snake charm bracelet, you can easily unscrew. Unscrew. This is how you will slide your charms on, okay? And as you can see, I have already attached all my charms to dangling charms and attached um, jump rings to my charms so that I can easily just slide them on. Starting with the, the juicy pink teddy bear and just slide it on. Slide that bad boy on. You, I have my spacer bead from Amazon. Slide it on. My diamond dangling bead, I have that. And you'll just slide it on. Yeah. Just slide it on. And here I have a pink bead. I pretty much buy my beads from Etsy, E-T-S-Y. And these are just a few beads that I have. Yes, so most of my beads come from Etsy. If you know anywhere else besides Etsy and Amazon where I can buy purchase beads, please let me know in the comment section below. And so here I have a cross. Bought this from Amazon as well. So let's put that bad boy on. And here are some diamond sparkly beads. Amazon. I'll let you all see a few real quick. They come packaged like this. And a variety of different colors so yeah so just keep sliding on your charms however that you like them I normally try to send my clients pictures I give them up to three different um, pictures with three different styles that they can choose from to see if they like any of those styles before I ship off their item because you always have to make sure that the customer is happy because they are the ones that's paying for it and here you see I have my little angel I bought this from Michaels Okay, so once your bracelet is complete, it will look however that you want it, but this is how mine will look for my customer. I sent her pictures last night. I'm just recreating her bracelet for you all. 
And also, I always try to include a rubber band. These I found on Amazon as well. Because when I first started, one client, her bracelet came apart as soon as she opened it from the mail. And just to make sure that never happens again, baby, I bought this rubber band. Found out about the rubber band to help your bees stay in place. So even if this part comes off, these bees are not going anywhere, okay? Nowhere. Don't play with me. Gotta learn from your mistakes, and that mistake will not happen again. Okay, so here is our bracelet, and it's looking oh so beautiful. And here's a dome that I have pre-made already for this video. And you just glue it down with whatever glue that you would like. Pop it in. So here is our In Loving Memory Charm Bracelets. So here is an In Loving Memory bracelet that I made earlier this week. The client requested that it be purple, so I came and I saw and I delivered. Let's check it out, y'all. I bought these beads right here from Etsy. Yes, and she wanted this bracelet of her mother. And this is her In Loving Memory Charm Bracelet. Here's a business tip 101. Have faith in yourself and your business. 